a very good morning to you all, my dear children. Today we have again come for another set of experiment on plant anatomy and embryology. So today we are going to do maceration, a very, very important practical. It is definitely going to come in the examination and it's very simple, but it requires a bit of precision. So today, the method which we are going to adopt is Sulge method. So let's see the plant material which is required for this experiment. So the plant material, we need stem of cucurbita, pinus, sunflower, and xanthium. So in the sense that we actually mix all these together to get better results. Now what is the purpose of this particular experiment? What is maceration? Why there is a need to macerate? And about whom we are going to macerate? Actually plant tissue as we all know are lignified. They have got a very very thick pectocellulose layer which makes them extremely solid. They adhere together firmly. And therefore, if you actually want to study the individual tissues, you need to separate them. So maceration is the only way by which you can separate the tissue properly so that you can study them in the best possible physical manner. So first, let's see the chemicals which are required for these experiments miscellaneous, the procedure, and I will tell you the objective of doing this experiment. Chemicals. We would be requiring concentrated nitric acid, few drops, a few crystals of potassium chlorate. We would be requiring water, glycerin as a mountain, and safranin as a stain. In miscellaneous, we'll be requiring blade for cutting those stems, needle for teasing, brush, spirit lamp, glass rods, test tube, microscope, and petri dish. Now let's see the process. How to do maceration. Cut small, small segments of the stem. They may be of cucurbita, pinus, sunflower, and xanthium into small cylinders. Now place all those cylinders in a test tube containing water. And then you start boiling it for five minutes. And then what you do? After boiling for five minutes, you decant the water, you see? You are throwing out the water, and instead, you are going to pour in concentrated nitric acid and few crystals of potassium chlorate. Make sure the level of the acid should be optimum so that the cylinders are submerged. Again, you boil it. But make sure, this time you are boiling acid. So be careful. You need to boil gently. Do not be in a hurry. Once the tissue starts boiling, you see the tissue would start becoming softer. They would start loosening out. They would become bleached. So therefore, this step is called as bleaching. The first step was boiling in pure water, then it's bleaching. You are removing all the debris, you are removing all the content and the chloroplast and all the pigments so that we are just interested in looking into the tissues. And then what you're going to do next? You decant the acids and then you pour water again. And that is what is called as washing. So boiling, Bleaching, washing. So when you wash in water properly, 
you are actually making sure that there is no stress of acids left in it. Now once washing is done properly, you take them out, put them inside a conical flask, put few drops of saffron in and you can keep this particular material for n number of days in a laboratory till the time you actually start doing the experiment. So you see this contains the plant material, saffronin, that's it. You can keep it in a refrigerator conditions for n number of days. Now on the day of experiment what you are going to do? With the help of a dropper, put a drop of plant material in the middle of the glass slide and you see take a drop of material tease the tissues properly use two needles forceps brush to tease them to separate them why are you teasing them the reason being the more we tease each and every cells and tissues get separated well studying them becomes all the more easier and therefore teasing is a must and then you put a drop of glycerin because already you see we have already put saffron in so there is no point putting saffron in again so it is already stained you just have to put a drop of glycerin as a mountain so that it doesn't dry and after that you gently put the cover slip keeping in mind there is no air bubbles and then you tap it you press it to remove the extra quantity of glycerin from the slide you blot the extra bit of glycerin with the help of blotting paper and then you observe under the microscope initially at 10x to locate the position of the tissues of your choice and then you go to 20x with further magnification and detailing of the tissues. In my next course I am going to show you how to go about with this experiment. Thank you.